Hi, I'm Darlie Newman and I'm here in Somerville, New Jersey, exploring history on the green here in South Carolina, Saratoga Springs, New York, in Northern Virginia, including along the Washington Rochambeau Trail. In Morristown National Historical Park, one of the many places where George Washington stayed. This was his headquarters for six months. In some ways you can consider this the Pentagon. The entire period of the war, there was some action happening in New Jersey. It was a family home until the mid 1990s. From colonial times to the present. Last vestiges of British rule took place here. Alexander Hamilton set up a cannon battery here. Alexander Hamilton, a romance in 1780. If you look through that gap in the trees, that's where the first Battle of Saratoga took place. This is the actual site where Burgoyne surrendered his sword. And this would be a major turning point in the American Revolution. That's right. This is sort of where history and myths start to mix. That's our favorite kind. <laughs> <laughs> so the Marines were born in 1775 in a tavern of all places. Before the Battle of Princeton was the time that Thomas Paine referred to as these are the times that try men's souls. The 10 crucial days, hope was rekindled that this revolution could be won. I was a soldier for 23 years. What took place here is very humbling to me. So you've got the little museum <laughs> in the bank. We do. Here's to John Morrissey. Cheers. These are George Washington hoe cakes. I can hear the colonial music playing. I'm thirsty too! We did supply the troops with our Laird's Applejack. <laughs> you helped America. I think we had a little America. something to do with it. <laughs> Is that American ingenuity? Ingenuity, yes. <laughs> it's strong. It's 100 proof. This is the biggest squash. We grew it in our kitchen garden. My there. goodness. George. George, <laughs> by George, here you are. We're sharing untold stories of the American Revolution. In order to understand where you're going, you need to know where you're coming from. You can't change the past and you can't change history, but you sure can make a better direction for your community and your descendants. Today you would say, what about slavery? What about women? What about the Native Americans? But at the same time, it's more for me the continuation of the values that were fought for during the revolution. Democracies, liberties, and equality. Something we're still striving for. Yes, exactly. 